And welcome back. Locked and Lit is a platform that's using individuals' love of reading to bring awareness to the low literacy rates in the South Bronx. Uh, they combat this issue through the launch of their online bookstore and efforts to open a bookstore for all ages in the Bronx. And here now to share more information are the co-founders of Locked and Lit, Alana Ramirez and Trisha Claxton. And thank you both for joining us. Thank you thank for having you. us. Yes, and thank you for filling the gap. I mean, really, that's really what we're talking about because the work that you do is really helping in the area of literacy. Uh, illiteracy is a huge across the country, but mm -hmm. here particularly in the Bronx, I mean, we've got a lot of it going on and a lack of books, but you're filling the gap. So first of all, tell us a little bit about what you do. So we are locked and lit. Um, as you mentioned, we are filling the gap um, of bringing a bookstore to the Bronx. So the Bronx currently has 1.5 million residents and only one brick and mortar bookstore, the Lit Bar, which is located in the South Bronx um, of the of, located in the South Bronx. And then so um, we just believe that we need to provide more options, more accessibility um, to books, to literacy as a whole, to the borough. Yeah. So um, between we have kind of like several things going on, but we have uh, two book clubs, one in person, one virtual, and we also host um, book giveaway events as well as our bookstore. That's the ultimate mission to bring another bookstore to the Bronx, but we do have our online shop and several pop-up events throughout so the year. When, when did it come to mind that we need to do something about this? Because uh, I remember having Lit here when she was first getting started. Yeah. Is that, yeah. I was dating myself, I'm going to tell you <laughs> I'll be there in a minute, but, she, but when she was here, I remember talking and saying, there's only one, Barnes & Noble's Co-op City. Yep. Next thing you know, Barnes & Noble's Co-op City goes out. If she never did what she did, we wouldn't even have that, and now yes. yourselves. Yes, Noelle Santos, shout out to her um, for the lip bar, but um, yeah, so for us, we it really came into... The it's been like an evolution, kind of a growth. When we started Locked and Lit, we really just started on social media, on Instagram, and we've, our friendship, we've always, books have always been a part of it, so as much as we're like best friends, we always talk about the books that we're reading. So when we just started to launch the Instagram page, it was just to like talk about the books that we were reading together. But from that, that lane, it just kind of morphed and grew as we got more into the literacy space and especially the Bronx literacy space. As those stats were hitting us, we're born and raised in the Bronx too, it was it was like we just couldn't just sit back. Like we just felt compelled to do what what our part, what little we can. Did it amaze you at all to understand how bad the desert is here in the Bronx when it comes to books? Yeah. So <laughs> so we were aware of, you know, the of the one bookstore, but when we came across like the literacy rates, seventy percent of um, third graders read below age level, grade level, and then forty three percent of adults lack basic literacy pro. So when you put those numbers together, those stats, it's one third of the Bronx's total population that cannot read at um the proper literacy rate, and that's astounding. And that's one of the reasons why we're not focused on just children, just adults, um, or just teens, but we're bringing literacy across um, the board for all ages. Yeah, so how can somebody get connected to knowing about what you got going on? Because you have some real uh, great things happening, and really for someone, the opportunity to improve in the area of reading and finding out you know, what some great books are. <laughs> so you can connect with us um, via our website, lockedinlit.com, L-O-C-D-A-N-D-L-I-T.com, or on social media, locked underscore and underscore lit. I also want to talk about the fact that you are one of the Department of Education vendors. Yes. That's huge, right? Yes. Congratulations. <laughs> yeah. about that. I mean, that's major. What does that mean to you, and what does that mean for the work that you do? So it's, it's phenomenal um, because it allows us the opportunity to kind of start um, with children. So um, we just got our DOE vendor license in uh, December, and already we've um, had workshops as well as book fairs um, within the school. Um, we primarily focus on promoting BIPOC authors, and we believe it's very important that children see themselves in the stories um, and the, on the cover of books. And so when we go into having our book fairs, um, they are astounded to see like all these books by yes representation yeah. um, of, of themselves and their communities that, that's something I think a lot of people talk about the fact that when we see 
authors. They don't necessarily look like they're from the black and brown community. However, we know there are many people out there writing, yes. many people out there with great work, mm -hmm. but sometimes not a place to really showcase their work because either mainstream or mm -hmm. chooses not to, to highlight. Yes. So for yourselves, that passion itself, that's got to be a good feeling because not only are you helping improve literacy rates, but on the other side, you're also helping authors really get their name in their shine. Yes. Yeah. And just this Saturday, we had an event um, at Harlem Hay Ground called Books in Bloom, and it was the opportunity to have a free book distribution where we distributed um, over 1,000 uh, free books to the community, but we also highlighted local authors, Bronx, um, independent and um, authors. independent authors, as well as poets. So we used our platform not only to elevate our, our literacy advocacy, but also to highlight um, local authors and poets. So you guys have been doing this for a minute. Yes. And you have been friends for more than a minute, <laughs> yes. right? So this is, a, this is a, a lifelong passion, I think, as you guys have really weaved this together. How long have you been friends? We've been friends for <clears throat> yeah. years. Mm -hmm. yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Since we were in the second grade. Don't forget Google. We can find this stuff out now. <laughs> yeah, so since the second uh, grade, we've been friends. And our uh, one of the common denominators has always been around books. So right. yeah, we're, yeah. Both, we're both bookworms. Yeah. yeah. But, Talk to me about that because there's that stigma. Then it's always said that sometimes people of color are not the ones that like to read. But from your gathering, we know that there are so many people who like to read and not yeah. just, you know, the common books. There's so many different genres that people delve into. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Uh, with my children, as I was trying to make sure I instilled that love of reading in them too, I just started with their interests. So when they were smaller, it was like I remember. One was into trains, one was into dinosaurs, and I just gave them picture books geared towards that. And I always say that there's a book for everybody out there. Whatever you're into, you can you can find it in a book. Yeah. And what about how do you cultivate literacy into the life of a young person or maybe somebody who hasn't had the opportunity to really take advantage of reading it at an early age? How can the person go about cultivating that literacy and, and just wanting to be able to you know, get these books and, and, and find out what's behind the cover. Oh, go ahead. Um, well, making time, but I what something that I like currently in the reading landscape, there's a lot of different options. So just sitting there with the pages, you know, people's brain processes things in different ways, but audio books are, are available. Um, Audio, not audio, ebooks. Right. <laughs> ebooks are also available too. So I love a nice thick book, but when I can't lug that all around, I can just pop up my phone, pop up my, my e reader, and be able to get into it. But I think it starts with interest. Books are a comfort, they're an escape. Um, so I think whatever you need from a book, it can give you that. If you want to learn something more, if you want education, you can find that in a book. If you want to just tap out for a couple minutes, Escape, you can find that in, you know, a great story that's anywhere in the world. Um, if you want self-help, improvement, there's that too. So yeah. I think start with what you need and it's there for you. So on the book club, on the average, how, how many books a, a year are you reading? Oh, <laughs> um. So before joining the, <laughs> <laughs> the book club. Hey, this is getting ready to come, y'all. I feel <laughs> something's getting ready to happen here. Uh -huh. Last year, I did 53 books. Okay. Um, before joining the book corner of Instagram, it's called Bookstagram. Before joining Bookstagram, I thought I was doing something. I was like 12, 13, and I was like, yeah, I'd be reading. But <laughs> when you get over there, you see people are doing like 100. Uh, like, like people, 100. Are, people are already at 100 books in the month of April. So, you know. They ain't I, reading the whole book. That's something. I, I, it might be an audio book or something. Right. I, Cliff you know, notes see or something. something. But um, no, it was just like you, as Trish said, you can get lost in the pages of, of a book. So, like, prior to this, I I think I was reading more because now we're focusing on business and, and everything. But yeah, we can average up to like 50 something books a, a year. Wow. Yeah. Trisha Alana, thank you so much for being with us. Continue. Thank you. Thank you. Best wishes with Locked and Lit. We'll certainly be following and uh, glad to know that you're doing this. And it certainly fills a gap in our community that's much needed. Thanks for being with us. Thank you Appreciate for having it. us. Thank you. All righty. Uh -huh. Now, listen, if you want more information, go ahead and visit the website at lockedandlit.com. And of course, Follow them on Instagram at Locked and Lit. Don't go anywhere. We got more show coming up. We'll be back with more open right after this.